Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana. I'm a CPA with EA Tax Resolutions. And today I'm gonna to be going over how to fill out the IRS Form W-9. All right, so you probably got this form because you're getting hired as a contractor and not as an employee. And the person paying you wants you to fill this out. Now what this means is potentially the person that's paying you is going to use the information they collect on the W-9 to issue you a 1099 at the end of the year. This is really important to look out for as you will need that 1099 and report that on your tax return. And what that's telling the IRS is that you are a business. As a business, I have a separate video on the number one way to save on taxes as a business that you should check out in addition to how to pay quarterly taxes as self-employed business as well. So be sure to check those out, link in the description below. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the W-9 here. All right, so this is the W-9. It's pretty straightforward, probably one of the easier forms, IRS forms to fill out, but nonetheless, let's go through this line by line. Uh, line one, name as shown on income tax return, name is required on this line, do not leave a blank. So if you have a business that has a name, I would throw the name in that line one, okay? Um, now, if you don't, unfortunately, you will have to put your individual, your personal name right there. But if you got a business, throw it in there. Um, line two is saying if it's a disregarded entity, put the business name here. So what that means is if, let's say you formed an LLC and you didn't elect to be taxed like as a CS or uh, like a partnership, then you would throw the business name in there. So you put your personal name up top and then your business name down here. Uh, but if you have like a, a CS partnership or trust, I would throw that here in line one. Okay, that's more, it, it is preferred to put that in there. Okay, uh, line three here is the type of entity you are. Okay, so if you don't actually have like a business set up and you're just doing business as a contractor under your individual name, you're gonna obviously check that box here, uh, individual sole proprietor or a single member LLC. Again, the LLC is a legal entity. It's not a tax entity. There's no LLC tax return with the IRS. So. If you did form a single member LLC and you didn't elect to be taxed as a CS uh, corporation or a partnership, then you would check this box here. Um, and then obviously, you know, if you're a CS or a partnership, you're gonna check this box. Now, if you are an LLC and you elected the C Corp, S Corp or the partnership, you're gonna check this box and put that uh, respective either C, S or P in this line here, okay? Um, box four here, exemptions. 99% of the time, people are not filling this out. You're not exempt from taxes. There are some times that people are, and if you wanna check those out, they're down here on page three, uh, right here, okay? So this would be like a, a nonprofit right here, US or any of its agencies, right? Um, a corporation, you could do that. Foreign government, right? Again, most people, are not any of those. So you would kind of skip that. You would put your mailing address here in line five and six, where you want that 1099 to go to, okay? The requester's name, if you know the person who's paying you or requesting this W-9 to be filled out, then you, you can put their information here and just make a copy for your own record so you know kind of to be on the lookout if any 1099s are gonna be coming from them. Uh, list account numbers. If you want, you can throw that in there. Uh, part one, tax identification number, taxpayer identification number. This is the important part, right? Because they're requesting either your social or your employer identification number. So if you have an employer identification number, that is preferred to put in there. Um, I always recommend that because you don't really want your social kind of floating out there just in case it gets stolen. Um, you're not really in possession of this W-9, the person paying you or requesting this is, and you wanna make sure that uh, you don't have any unnecessary information out there. So if you have an EIN or employer identification number, throw that in there. If not, then unfortunately, you would have to put your social in right there. Um, and that's really it. And then you sign here, date it, and you give it back to the person requesting. Uh, so this form is not just for 
contractors it is there's kind of a host of things that that people request the w9 for but nine times out of ten it is for contractors and that's what they're filling this out for well i hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was please like share or subscribe to the channel if you got any questions about this or any other tax related topics feel free to leave those in the comments below thank you so much guys